Lewis will play the ball on the fourth. Mark. Ta'ala finds Eli out wide. Now here's Morgan. He'll take the outside. And the ball is stripped, what it appeared to be stripped. And the referee will call a knock on against the Parkwood Sharks and again. As former Bishop Bill Nathan would say, it's the basics. It's the basics. Call and go to 10, Parkwood Sharks yet to score. Blake McGifford, good tackle. Supported there by Ephraim Morgan. Morgan will square off that marker. And Penny Weber going low, taken in a good tackle by him in Navarro. Jared Morgan, big contact there. I tell you what, they saw him coming from a mile away and he didn't disappoint. Nonetheless, this is not 2010. There must be arms utilized in a tackle. And Jaron Morgan, big physical contact. Nonetheless, a penalty is given to the Cool and Gatter rugby league team. <laughs> big contact. And he's gone for 10. And that's a shock. That's a big shock. That, that, that's, that's a big shock. I tell you what. I don't, know if that, I don't know if he was given a first and final warning. Nonetheless, he will take a 10-minute break. Will Jaron Morgan? <laughs> and the Parkwood Sharks with one man down. They need to work extra hard here as Lewis makes a good tackle there. <laughs> And Penny Weber doing his best Nathan Hindmarsh impression. As Cool and Gatter break the line, chased by Taala. He'll take him down just before the 20, but Cool and Gatter looking hot. They have numbers on the left. Taala again with another tackle. Could be try saving. Fifth and last. They go through and great recovery there by Ephraim Morgan. Dane Lee Mark making good yards. Yeah, and great sportsmanship there. Great sportsmanship there by the halfback throwing his boot away. Fantastic sportsmanship there by the cool and gatter half. Eli Morgan now. <laughs> Sewer. Finds Mark. Mark taking in a good front on tackle there by the Cool and Gatter defense. And that will bring them to the fifth and last. Cool and Gatter can do nothing wrong at this stage. Sewer running it on the last. Finds Weber. Weber puts a grubber in. And to be honest, that's probably the best the Sharkies could hope for at this point as we take a look and back play. James Hoff seems to be down. And Kupi Ta'ala, no worse for the wear as he hobbles back to center field. And just a note, ladies and gentlemen, there is no time off here today as we have a few bodies down. James Hoff. Looks, looks to be what might be a back injury. Our physio and doctor, Darren Hall, on the scene. As Kupi Ta'ala looks to be getting stretched out. And uh, it's good to see Daz back in action again as he returns to the club for his 50th season here at the Parkwood Sharks. A stalwart of the club. And we'll go to a commercial break, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back with you in just a moment. Oh, I... 
Gus. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You gotta roll out of ring, man. There you go. That's all right. We'll see how we go. I think Ray Warren's the gold standard at the moment. Oh, I love rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's that last pass, you know what I mean? Just gotta finish. It's basics. And welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Shark Tank here at the Parkwood Sharks in the beautiful Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia. We welcome you back to our DMC Cup game between the Parkwood Sharks and Cool and Gatta Rugby League. Cool and Gatta lead ten points to nil at this moment. Parkwood Sharks yet to score. And if you're just joining us, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us on this beautiful day as a good sign, James Hoff, back to his feet. And Kupita Ali continues to stretch out the hamstring. Huge, congr huge congratulations to uh, Kupita Ali and his family, soon to be a father, father of one, as far as I know. Looking to stretch out those hamstrings. He's having a big game today. Is the half, the man of the match from last year's grand final against the Madrid Bar Redbacks. Returns for another season here in 2020. And the Parkwood Sharks, I was just talking to my counterpart, Bill Potu. The basics, the basics, the basics, the basics of rugby league. Simple catch and pass will win Parkwood the game as it is doing for Cool and Gatter at this stage. As Cool and Gatter find themselves in possession. Just outside their own 30 metre mark. As James Hoff is taken from the field, Jesse Richards returns. And if you didn't miss the early minutes of the half, Jerem Morgan finding himself in the sin bin after some big physical contact. Nonetheless, there were no arms involved in the tackle, so he'll take a 10, sec uh, 10 minute break rather. Big loss to the Parkwood Sharks team. Especially on defence. You may remember Jared Morgan from last year's hit of the century against uh, against the cool, cool and get a red it was. I'm sure he was looking to do the same today. However, not so lucky as we return to the action. Jesse Richards coming up with what is it his eighth tackle of the game today and big defence there again by the Parkwood Sharks as Cool and Getter advance to the 50 metre mark. Big contact there, again there from Jesse Richards is Blake McGifford. And that's Jesse Richards' third tackle of the set. He's getting through a ton of work here because he's fresh. Sewer putting the shoulders in as we come to the fifth and last. Cool and Gatter probing outside the 20. <coughs> they go high. Still fifth and last, they go again, no one at home. And we'll return for a 20 meter restart, which what would appear to be a seven tackle set. Ephraim Morgan passing to his brother Eli, and Eli will go. He breaks the first, he breaks the second, and Eli Morgan down the sideline. He's taken in a great tackle there from the Cool and Gatter defense. And that'll be zero tackles. Ta'awa looking blind. Parkwood Sharks looking hot here. Yards to the 20. Sewer will look to go wide here. He finds McGifford. McGifford looking, probing. Can't get through and he's ragdolled to the ground. It's not Monday night touch anymore, mate. But he's able to draw the penalty. You'd have to think Parkwood Sharks need to score here. McGifford goes himself, and again. Big cool and get a defense, sees McGifford go to the ground as Weber. Strong run up the middle. That'll be tackle two, Sewer. Finds Ta'ala. Ta'ala steps. He busts one. He busts two. He's over the line. And Kupi Ta'ala scores the first try for the Parkwood Sharks here today, ladies and gentlemen. 
a hard-earned effort, and they needed that one. And you can put that down to the fantastic run from Eli Morgan. Coming off a 20-metre restart, looked look to make 60 metres. They drew the penalty, and Kupi Ta'ala scores the first, first try for the Sharkies. Oh, jeez. Any water? <coughs> oh, shit. And the Parkwood Sharks needed that one, ladies and gentlemen, as Jaden Sewer looks to add. He does so successfully, taking the Parkwood Sharks to six points. And ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. Cool and Gatta is up 12 points, 12 points to six. They lead the Parkwood Sharks here at the Shark Tank on this beautiful afternoon of Rugby League. And as the clock continues to run, we are less than a minute out from, uh, from half time as it's well recovered there by Axel Navarro, Navarro, involved in some big physical collisions early in the first half as Harrison Lewis goes from half. He's looking for Jesse Richards to come on the inside. And Richards, bus one, bus two, he finds Navarro. Navarro getting through a ton of work here today. McGifford in at half and another penalty. Blake will go himself. As Dainley Mark takes the first tackle. And they've got less than 10 seconds here. This will be the last play of the game. Parkwood Sharks, they are probing. Weber finds Morgan. He puts it down. And unfortunately, that'll see us out of the first half. Cool and get a lead. The Parkwood Sharks, 12 points to six. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick halftime break. We will see you in the second half here at the Shark Tank. Tanira Nathan joined by Billy Potu. Looking forward to being with you very soon. <laughs> 